what them. Everyone gets on here and loves to brag about their amazing vacations, but we are here to share a vacation fail. One that had me trapped in an elevator for 20 minutes, scrawling goodbye messages to my loved ones in the liquid steam on the walls. Just one second. One that led to fights and firefighters and fear in one of the most famous cities in the world. Our Venice elevator fiasco in this episode of Window Seat. So we just got to Venice. We checked in at that pink hotel right there, right next to the Rialto Bridge. It's called the Hotel Rialto. Here's a closer look. That's the pink hotel right there, right there on the right. We were stoked to walk out that front door and embark on an Italian adventure when pandemonium set in. I got stuck on the hotel's old, tiny, cramped, hot elevator, and there was no way to get out. There were six of us trapped on there, most of us American tourists, all lovely people, as lovely as you can be with triple-digit heat and a raging case of claustrophobia. Little did we know, multilingual fights were ensuing in the lobby. Desperate attempts were being made to pry open the door, and then, finally... Just one problem, the elevator was halfway to the lobby floor, and I've seen enough TV shows to know these things can be death traps. Got air now, at least you have air. <laughs> hey Jeremy, how you doing in there? I have foot. Okay. So yeah, we've been stuck in here, foot. we've been stuck in here for like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's probably, it was probably 100 degrees in here, and yeah. the balls were all it's, steamed it's up. It's now the rain yeah. That's right. <laughs> but at least we got fresh air going. The problem is, okay I don't want to dive out of here because I'm afraid this will cut me in yeah. half. Yeah. So it was right around this time. <laughs> One of the guys actually dropped some sort of table down the elevator shaft. That just went down. That startled us a bit, but then the lobby guys started pulling out luggage. And there was lots of erratic talk in Italian. And before you knew it, finally the firefighters came. Their lack of urgency giving us the sense they'd probably seen this happen before and probably at this very hotel. Okay. Couldn't make out most of what they said, but mercifully the elevator started slowly slinking to ground level and within seconds our long international nightmare was over. We made it! Bottom line, think twice before getting on the elevator at a hotel that's hundreds of years old in a city that sits on stilts in the water. Unless you're okay with getting real hot and sweaty with a bunch of strangers. Come to think of it, some of you may actually be into that, but that's an entirely different kind of video. And this has been a window seat travel fail. Bye.